From a distance, Saturn's rings look like a single flat disk. However, they're actually thousands of separate ringlets, each only a few miles wide. When the Cassini probe flew past, it detected billions of pieces of ice and cosmic rubble orbiting inside the rings at speeds of up to 50,000 miles an hour. These bits of ice and rock constantly crash into each other. Some grow into tiny moons, others smash apart. But they never form into larger moons because Saturn's immense gravity tears them apart. Scientists are only just beginning to figure out how the rings formed in the first place. The theory goes like this. A comet smashed into a moon and knocked it out of its orbit and closer to the planet. Saturn's gravity tore it to pieces. And all of that debris got trapped in rings around the planet. There are many ways to make rings. When Cassini analyzed Saturn's outermost E-ring, it detected ice grains with a particular chemical signature that aren't found in any of the planet's other rings. Scientists wondered where this ice came from. Then, in 2005, they got lucky. Cassini witnessed geysers on Saturn's moon Enceladus, blasting out giant plumes of ice crystals into space. When it analyzed the plumes of ice, it found it had the same signature as the ice in the E-ring. Saturn's gravity was capturing the ice crystals ejected from Enceladus and pulling them into the planet's outer rings. But the real mysteries of the gas giants lie deep inside them, tens of thousands of miles beneath the clouds. This is where the real action is. It's a place so extreme, it challenges the laws of nature.